Hey guys, so ChatGPT version 4.0 just dropped this week, so I wanted to put it to the test with Crew AI to see how it performs in the real world. So to test this new model, we're gonna be running three different crews. And as we run these crews, we're gonna be substituting in and out the old and new version of ChatGPT so we can see how they stack up against each other. And honestly, I was super impressed with the new model, but it didn't perform exactly how I thought it would. So let's go ahead and dive into this experiment so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So like I mentioned earlier, I've created three different crews that we're going to run against each other using the new and old version of ChatGPT just so we can see how they stack up against each other. And what I've done for each of these crews is I've actually updated them to use the latest version of Crew AI, so that's gonna be the fastest and best version. And what I've also done is I've added in a tool called Agent Ops so we can track just to see how much and how fast each of these crews runs. And to make things interesting, what I've also done is I've ordered these experiments in order from the simplest where we're just you know just doing normal llm calls and then eventually we add in more complexity so like eventually we're going to use tools to access the internet and then we're also eventually going to start working with embeddings just so we can see how these different models perform with different crews that get more and more complex and it's also important to mention if you actually want to try out any of these crews yourself to run the experiment or to see the results or just actually use the source code for these new updated versions of these different crews go ahead and check out the link down in the description below because i've added the source code there for you guys completely free to download so go ahead and check that out right after this video. But enough of that, let's go ahead and actually start diving into the experiment so that we can see how ChatGPT 4.0 stacks up against the old version. So let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, real quick, I just wanna point out that I have a free school community for AI developers just like you. We have over a thousand members now where people are talking about the projects they're working on, they're helping each other out, and we have free weekly coaching calls so I and other members in the group can get you unstuck with whatever problems you're running into. So if you wanna meet a ton of other AI developers of all skill levels who are just like you, go ahead and click that link down in the description below so you can join the free community. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the first experiment where we're going to be running the crew game builder. Now, if you haven't seen this crew before, basically what it does is it takes in an input of a game you want to build, and then it uses a bunch of different agents to go off and code that game, usually in Python. So let me just show you kind of what it looks like in action. So as you can see, um, what I've done real fast is I've pulled out the game builder code over here, and this is the updated version, by the way. So this means I'm using the agent ops and I'm using the latest version of ChatGPT. The way I'm using agent ops is you can see I'm importing it up here and just initializing it. And this is what's going to allow us to track how expensive and how fast this ran. And then additionally, to make sure that we're using GPT 4.0, I updated our agents file. And what you can see right here is we're using the model 4.0. And anytime I change it back and forth, we're updating all of our different agents in our crew to make sure we're using the latest version. So that's how we're hopping back and forth for this experiment. And final thing, just wanted to point out, we are using the latest version, like I said, version 30.11, and this is how we're adding an agent ops. Okay, enough code, let's actually go ahead and look at what this crew is able to do. So what you'll notice is I have an outputs folder, and this outputs folder is where we're able to basically put all the different results so you can play with them yourselves. This is the two different ones for the game planner, so these are the different outputs for the snake game. So you can see they're like basically identical around 160, 180 lines. So very, very similar. And I wanna go ahead and actually show you me running them. So I just changed my directory to that folder. Now I'm just gonna run Python and the name of the file. So when I run it, what it'll do is it'll take me over to the game that it just built, which is crazy. And then now I can actually start playing and controlling it. So you can see, well, yeah, there we go. See, I, I don't suck too bad. Yep, once we die, we have a high score and it'll start over. So that's the game it built for us. But now let's actually dive into the comparison part of it. Well, how we're gonna go compare? Well, once again, we're going to use Agent Ops. It's a completely free tool to use. Definitely recommend trying it out. This walkthrough will show you exactly how to set it up in your own projects. Just click Get Started for free. Once you have actually installed Agent Ops in your cruise, like I showed earlier, here's what you get to see. This is a deep dive. So you can see session drill down. Over here on the left-hand side, I have the ChatGPT 4.0 version pulled up, and you know that's 4.0, because if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see my model here. And over here on the right, you can see that I'm using 4 Turbo. So let's actually start doing some comparisons so we can actually see how each crew stacked up against each other. So all in all, you can see they had a similar number of runs. Each one, this one had eight runs and this one had uh, seven different events. And now let's actually look at the important part. So is ChatGPT 4.0 faster than the other one? Right now, at least for this example, it wasn't. And I ran this a bunch of times and it just so happens this time it was zero. Sometimes I see a 10 to 20% speed improvement, but for whatever reason, this time it didn't. The important 
important part though is let's actually look at see how much these LLMs cost. So on 4.0, it definitely is cheaper than this other one. It's about 20% cheaper to run 4.0 compared to turbo. And basically the way most of the costs are generated for these crews come down to the number of tokens that we processed. So in this case, we basically processed close to 14,000 tokens over here. And we calculated close to almost what 20, a little over 20,000 tokens over here. And just in case you haven't like heard of prompt tokens and completion tokens, prompt tokens are inputs and completion tokens are outputs. So you can see we were processing a lot more information inside of GPT 4.0. And even though we processed an additional 5,000 tokens, we were still much cheaper than Turbo. So all around, round one does go to version 4.0. I would have liked to see in that time come down a little little bit more, but let's actually go ahead and see what's going to happen in the next versions and the next experiment, just because this experiment was completely done all locally. There was no, you know, reaching out to the internet or anything like this. This was strictly LLMs talking to other LLMs. So let's go ahead and dive into the next experiment where we're going to add in our crews, the ability to go off and search the internet. All right, so welcome to the second experiment, and this one turns out way better, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. What we're running in this comparison is we are using the Crew Trip Planner, and this is by far my favorite Crew AI example that I have seen built so far. And the way it works is you are able to say where you're starting at, where you wanna go, and it'll plan an entire trip for you. So let's actually hop over to the code so you can see exactly what I mean. This is an example of what I've hard-coded in the example that you can download. But basically I'm saying I'm gonna go from Atlanta, Georgia, and I wanna go over to Croatia during these dates, and here's what I wanna see on my vacation. And then from there, we'll start up a crew and it'll go off and run for us. Now, let me just go ahead and show you the results because this is pretty cool. So we're gonna start off with Turbo. So this is what Turbo was able to produce for us. You know, it's a nice seven day itinerary where it's gonna just walk us through what we're gonna do every day, morning, evening, and afternoon. Very nice. It walks us through exactly what we're gonna do. And at the very end, it gives us a budget breakdown and then some packing suggestions for what we should do while we're there. Very cool, very cool, I like it. But 4.0 goes even further. What 4.0 I've noticed starting to do is it provides a lot more links. So this has actually happened in a bunch of the different examples that I've tried. It basically does a much better job of understanding important items that it needs to pass over to you as the reader. So here's their example. So you can see once again, seven day trip. It's a day by day suggestion, but it keeps giving us more information. And this isn't just a one time fluke. I've run this one about like 10 times. And every time it does a much better job of giving us more information. 4.0, it seems to be more intelligent intelligent and it's able to just do more. So this is just an example of like, yep, it gives us links with things we need to do and try while we're out and about uh, traveling in Croatia. So now that you've seen what it can do and you can see once again at the very end, it gives us a breakdown, packing list and things like that. What's actually happening in a speed and cost comparison. So let's hop back over to agent ops and this is where my mind was blown. So as you can see, 4.0 had about 20 different events and Turbo had about 23 different events. Now here's what's interesting. We were able with 4.0 to run in two minutes and 45 seconds, whereas Turbo took almost five minutes, which is crazy. I think all in all, it was about like 40% faster. And then when you look at the price comparison down here, this was 36 cents and this was 50 cents. So we're 25% cheaper and we were running 40% faster. So it's not the twice as fast and half as cheap what we were you know, told, but it's getting pretty darn close. And the part that I also thing is interesting is like we're not comparing exactly apples to apples because what's also interesting is like when it comes over to 4.0 we were processing a lot more information all in all we had about 45,000 tokens whereas over here we had 34 so even though we're doing more work with our tokens input and output wise we were still much cheaper and faster so this this is the kind of results I was expecting to see with 4.0 super impressed with this version and the other part that you got to remember that's pretty interesting we're also going off and searching the internet pulling in tons of data from everything that we're reading and with that large amount of text we're pulling in and processing we're making uh, we're using it a lot more effectively when driving towards our final answer so you know in this example we did llm plus internet so let's go ahead and dive over to our third example where we're going to do llms plus we're going to do the internet and we're going to start working with embeddings too so let's go ahead and dive over to our third experiment so let's go ahead and dive into the third example which is going to be the stock analysis crew 
Now, the way this crew works is we pass in a stock ticker that we want to analyze, and then our crew will go off and do a bunch of fundamental analysis of the stock and give us some insights and recommendations on what it thinks we should do. Let's go ahead and actually look at what's happening and how it works. So per usual, we have a crew that we're passing in our agent, our task, you know, the usual part, but in our case, like I said, we're just going to look at the company Tesla. So let's first look at what ChatGPT for Turbo was able to do for us. All in all, it gives us a nice executive summary of like what it recommends we should do for this stock. And then it does a really good breakdown. And the other part that's important to mention is that these crews are not only just, you know, using historical information, they're going off and searching the internet. And more importantly, what they're also doing is going out and searching the, let me pull it up so you can see it, but they're basically looking through the SEC record. So basically the quarterly filings from these companies or going off and searching through those. And that's what you can see is exactly happening inside of these different basically reports. So here we're looking through everything that's happening over the past few quarters. And you can kind of see what this crew is recommending we should do. And all in all, at the very end, it's saying like, hey, do a hold basically if you have a higher risk tolerance. So that's what Turbo told us to do. Now let's go ahead and look at what 4.0 told us to do. So here's the report for this one. And once again, I think this is awesome because as you can see, 4.0 once again is providing us access to URLs and links that it thinks we should be investigating. So you can see that it's giving us different reports like, hey, do you wanna see how this stock is trending, their earning reports? And here's some resources and sources. So we didn't change anything inside of our crew. It's just that 4.0 seems to basically be a little bit more anticipative of like, yep, this is probably the information you want to need. And it also, once again, it's giving you some more, it's strategy and suggestion for what you should do for this crew. So all in all, awesome all around. I love that it came to the same conclusion, just came at it from two different answers, two different ways. And also that 4.0 gave us a lot more links along the way so we can go off and do our own research. But enough of that, let's go ahead and hop back to the comparison. So once again, we're over here in Agent Ops. On the left, we have 4.0 and on the right, we have Turbo. Once again, you can see that 4.0 beats turbo and this time we barely beat it but we still beat it and the important part that we were able to beat with 4.0 is the cost we're at like what 30 to 40 percent cost reduction and in this one once again we are processing way more tokens so over here you know we're at basically 44,000, while over here we're closer to like 47,000 tokens so we're doing more with our information and we cost less and we're faster so all around i thought this was awesome and i hope you guys now are super excited to go off and try 4.0 on your own let me know too what you think if you think these crews are smarter when they're using 4.0 and let me know if you are going to make the switch to only using 4.0 from here on out and that's a wrap for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed seeing this comparison between the new version of ChatGPT and the old one and i hope you're pumped to start using ChatGPT 4.0 in your own cruise and like i said earlier if you want to actually go ahead and download the new cruise that i created for you guys that are on the latest version using agent ops and version 4.0 go ahead and click that link down in the description below so you can go ahead and grab the source code and also if you already haven't joined that free school community for ai developers just like yourself go ahead and click that link down in the description below so you can meet a ton of like-minded people and hop on our weekly coaching calls where you can get support completely for free for your own projects. But I hope you guys have a great day and definitely check out one of these videos right after this video and see you on the next one. See ya.